So congratulations. Are you getting used to that new title yet? Uh, there, there is certainly part of me that, that uh, does a double pay take when people call me Premier. Um, but, uh, you know, it's what I ran for and uh, it's what I said I was seeking to do at the beginning of the campaign. So, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it wasn't an entire impossibility and, and I'm getting slowly used to it. Alberta has chewed through and spit out a few Premiers lately. Apprentice, uh, Redford. Are you a little terrified? <laughs> Well, you know, I think a lot of that uh, so-called chewing up was actually done at the hands of a party that uh, was, was operating a little bit past its best before date. And uh, I actually think that, um, uh, ironically, uh, change to a new party with a new government with a good solid four-year mandate is going to bring uh, stability uh, that hasn't necessarily been in place for the last few years. You campaigned on change. One of the promises was to review the royalties for, for energy, perhaps a bigger share for Albertans, which means a smaller share for the oil companies. And now the oil industry is saying, whoa, now is not the time. Please do not do that now. There's too much instability. Will you put that promise on hold? Well, you know, what I've said all along is, is there's a number of issues that uh, we need to address that um, uh, go towards the objective of, of more effectively diversifying our economy here in Alberta, providing greater stability, getting us off the, uh, the oil and gas uh, roller coaster, and uh, also ensuring that we have uh, more stable jobs um, in Alberta. So that's something that I think ultimately is going to be an objective that, that all um, partners in, in uh, Alberta have, including the oil and gas industry. But you promised change. Uh, how do you figure out where that line is? Like, are you saying that a, a moratorium on reviewing royalties is a, is a possibility? Uh, uh, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm actually saying is that I want to go back to the kinds of first principles that uh, Peter Law, he laid out uh, when he began uh, the good work that he did, quite frankly, of shepherding uh, the development of our oil and gas industry and our energy sector. And uh, part of what that includes is ensuring that Albertans, as owners of the resources, uh, get a fair return and that, that we are able to ensure that uh, we are able to upgrade more jobs here in Alberta and that the, this tremendous prosperity and resources that we have in this province are developed in a way that uh, meets the best outcome for Albertans. Tom Mulcair and federal NDPers, they're overjoyed by your win. Is Canada moving left or is it just Alberta? Uh, you know, I think that uh, what uh, you know, left, right, I mean, I, I guess that's one way of looking at it. What I look at it as is, is you know, Albertans were looking uh, for progressive, forward-looking, thoughtful, intelligent change, and, and they concluded that they would find that in Alberta's NDP. And so in terms of what it means for the rest of the country, I think it means that uh, maybe Albertans can, can uh, provide a lesson to uh, other voters across the country that, that the NDP is a, is a viable choice if you're looking for that kind of thoughtful, progressive, balanced leadership. And uh, so I'm excited if we're able to uh, help um, other New Democrats across the country make that case to their voters um, but always of course my my eye is on ensuring that I provide the best representation possible for Albertans. Well about to be Premier Rachel Notley thanks so much for talking to us. Well thank you it was a pleasure chatting with you.